Islamic banking is a financial system that operates in accordance with Islamic law, Sharia, principles. The main objective of Islamic banking is to promote ethical and socially responsible investment while providing financial services to customers. The core principles of Islamic banking are based on the concept of risk sharing and the prohibition of riba, interest, maser, gambling, and gerar, uncertainty. Islamic banking was first established in the mid-20th century and has since grown into a global industry, with over 60 countries now offering Islamic financial services. The industry has experienced significant growth in recent years, with assets managed by Islamic financial institutions reaching an estimated 2.2 trillion US dollars in 2020. One of the key differences between Islamic banking and conventional banking is the prohibition of riba. In conventional banking, interest is charged on loans and earned on deposits, but in Islamic banking, this is not allowed. Instead, Islamic banks offer financing products that are based on the principles of profit and loss sharing PLS. In a PLS arrangement, the bank and the customer share the profits and losses of a business venture in accordance with a pre-agreed ratio. This encourages the customer to manage the business responsibly, as they are incentivized to maximize profits and minimize losses. Another key feature of Islamic banking is the emphasis on risk sharing. This is achieved through a variety of financial instruments, such as Mudaraba, Partnership, Murabaha, Cost Plus Financing, and Ajara, Leasing. For example, in a Mudaraba arrangement, the bank provides capital to a customer to invest in a business venture, and the profits are shared between the bank and the customer in accordance with a pre-agreed ratio. In a Murabaha arrangement, the bank purchases a commodity on behalf of the customer and sells it to them at a profit, which is disclosed up front. Islamic banking also prohibits speculative behavior, such as excessive uncertainty, gerar, and gambling, maser. This is reflected in the types of financial instruments offered by Islamic banks, which are focused on real economic activity and investment in productive assets. In addition to these principles, Islamic banking also has a strong focus on corporate social responsibility. This includes promoting environmental sustainability, supporting community development projects, and investing in socially responsible businesses. Many Islamic banks have established social finance departments that focus specifically on these types of initiatives. Despite its growth and popularity, Islamic banking is not without its challenges. One of the main challenges is the lack of a unified legal and regulatory framework for Islamic finance across different countries. This has led to variations in the interpretation and application of Sharia principles, which can create difficulties for the growth and development of the industry. Another challenge is the shortage of qualified Sharia scholars and experts in the field of Islamic finance, which can limit the ability of Islamic banks to develop new and innovative financial products. In conclusion, Islamic banking is a unique financial system that operates based on the principles of risk sharing and the prohibition of riba. It promotes ethical and socially responsible investment while providing financial services to customers. Despite some challenges, the industry has experienced significant growth in recent years and is likely to continue to grow as more people seek alternatives to conventional banking systems. Thanks for watching. God Cooper bless you with fame and wealth.